So welcome to the first um, of our keynotes. Um, I'm absolutely delighted um, to have Professor Daniela Berghahn here. The Fafnir families in contemporary European cinema that I am discussing here today crystallize the emotionally ambivalent response to growing ethnic diversity in Western societies. In this conference we decided to actually open it up to, if we are talking about migrant cinema, migrant filmmakers, we opened it up to actual migrant filmmakers, refugee filmmakers, diasporic filmmakers, to showcase their films as well. So this provided a space in which we could watch films as well as talking about films and the movements of migrant cinema. The burden of representation here, the expectation that migrant filmmakers should only make films about migrant issues, whereas majority culture filmmakers can make films about anything. films that we looked at and the papers that we looked at was that migrant cinema seems to be very much about presence and absence. If we don't let those people who know about that stories tell their stories, we might not know anything about it in a proper, honest way from inside. some of the films that we have seen is really the importance of the family in these stories because the severing of the bonds and all the trauma and pain that comes with it. Can't you see we did it all for you, she asks poignantly. We never really felt like we belong here, she continues. And to think that you now feel the same way makes all of our work over the last 30 years seem worthless. Democratization of the tools of filmmaking and the distribution of film, and the rise of micro budget and zero budget filmmaking. You know, everyone with a small phone or a small camera can start making films about situations and in situations in which previously was impossible to make a film. Your whole existence is transnational, transporter. So, how would you describe a quote unquote national cinema? This um, possibility of bringing people together from different sides of one coin and open up a dialogue between them, I thought, felt, thought that was very inspiring. Film is a vital tool at the moment to increase our understanding and hopefully uh, then lead to um, a shift in the way these, these issues are treated in society more generally. It's really important to uh, look at these new forms of migrant uh, filmmaking and, and find ways to talk about that just in the same way as we have done for more conventional film. making films, let's continue watching, let's continue talking about them, let's continue analysing them. Uh, thank you all so much, thank you to our four uh, speakers, panelists. But also we need to make films about how the life is once they arrive in our societies, what are the dreams, what are the disappointments and how we can help them to um, integrate in a positive way, not losing their own identity and culture, bringing this into the new culture that they come in, but also embracing the great elements of a free country and uh, democratic values and humanistic values. And this way, maybe one day we can have a better world. <laughs>